Well, now it's time for our daily dose of entertainment news. I know you've been cooped up looking at each other, wondering things getting a little tense. Well, believe it or not, the celebrities, they will provide. And we could have our first celebrity quarantine divorce. Stephanie Haney has the details on a shocking split in today's pop break. After a drama-filled decade together, Kristen Cavallari and Jay Cutler are calling it quits, shocking everyone with separate Instagram posts yesterday saying this. With great sadness, after 10 years together, we have come to a loving conclusion to get a divorce. We have nothing but love and respect for one another, and we are deeply grateful for the years shared, memories made, and the children we are so proud of. Court documents obtained by E! News say Cutler filed for divorce from Cavallari, citing irreconcilable differences. The former NFL player asked to be awarded reasonable attorney's fees and other general relief to which he may be entitled. Cavallari's response claims Cutler committed inappropriate marital conduct. Yikes. Speaking of major splits, the man formerly known as Prince Harry is working on his first major project post-senior royal step-down. It's called HeadFit and it specializes in something close to Harry's heart, providing mental health care to the UK's military. The new initiative, almost three years in the making, was first announced by Meghan Markle in 2017 as part of the Royal Foundation's mental health campaign, Heads Together. And Meryl Streep can now add meme queen and gift goddess to her already incredibly long resume. She dropped into Stephen Sondheim's virtual 90th birthday concert last night to sing The Ladies Who Lunch from the musical company. Something to that. And one from more. Belting out the song with Audra McDonald and Christine Baranski, the star sipped a martini in her bathrobe during the performance. Talk about a relatable queen. Obviously, Meryl and her girls got the memo that it's very in vogue right now to show up in your pajamas and your bathrobe to a meeting. So we might not be in our pajamas, but Betsy, I do want you to know that I fully tried to have a chocolate bar martini delivered to you, but unfortunately, <laughs> they are not open till Thursday, so we couldn't <laughs> cheers those ladies properly. <laughs> that would have been classic. That would have been a good Monday maker right there, definitely. Well, we'll have yes, to feed up on, on what, Thursday they're open? We'll make it I'm happen. I'm sure we can work it in. We probably will. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. Have a great evening.